Hi everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to use a break command in a MATLAB environment. So a break command is a command that is used to break out of a loop. Now if we go to MATLAB and type help break, we can see how it's defined. Now as you can see break terminate execution of while or for loop. So it's used inside a loop and it can be used as as a condition to break out of the loop and it can be used in a nested loop too. So I will give, define an example here and we will see how a break uh, statement can be used in MATLAB. So let's go here. I've already saved a script. So let's define, let's define a variable like before to actually define a while loop. So let's say I define a variable counter and initiate it as one. Uh, now let's say I define a while uh, loop and let's say like before I say counter less than three is my condition. So this is the condition for the loop to run. So it should run uh, with this condition after given initial value. It should run two times. If you're confused how to use a while loop, I'll link down below another video that I've talked about what to use and how to use a while loop. So now inside that, let's define a condition. So let's say um, if, now let's see, um, I have to define another variable here for that if condition. Let's say we define a variable number as let's say 10. I just defined it randomly just to demonstrate how these logical statements can work. So we'll define if number is equal equal 10 meaning this if will check if the number variable here is equal equal meaning if it's equal to 10 or not if it's equal true then it will go inside and let's say display let's say display success okay something like that and here we will use the command called break okay and else let's say display and we can say try again i'll uh, explain these things in a minute so um, and then i have to use the end and i have to use another end for the while now if i do that then it should work properly now without this break um without if i just delete the break as you can see we have we have one and that it should run two times, right? So we already defined the loop should run two times. Now, what if we want that to run it infinitely? Let's say you have a password to enter in, a, in your device and it asks for the password. Uh, and every time you enter a wrong password, it asks again to enter a right password. To do that, you need an infinite loop. So let's say um, we create an infinite loop here and then we can actually break out of the loop. So to create an infinite loop, uh, I can just say while true, meaning true is the condition where it's always true, meaning the while loop will always run. So it's an infinite loop. And now we will see how this thing works. Now, um, if I just run it, as you can see, success is running like it's, a, it's an infinite loop and I don't have any condition to stop it. So I'll press control C to stop it. Now, if I say um, I want to break it, if the number is equal to 10, I'll, I have to use the command called break. Now what it will do is that it, if, it, if the number variable is equal to 10, it will come here, it will print the success and it will break out of the loop and the success will be printed once. So let's see if I run it and that's it. So it's printed once and then it found break statement and it broke out of the loop. So so depending on your situation, you can use this break um, uh, with a condition and that way you can fulfill that condition. Now, instead of just inputting the number ourselves, what if we want to input the this number from the user? So to do that, we instead of defining it here, let's define another variable called input that will take input from the user. And let's say we, we we enter uh, text, let's say enter a password and then 
complete it now what it will do is that it will show us enter a password in the output while we run it and um, if the number is 10 then only it will say success but if it's not then it will display try again so let's see if it works um, let's run it and in the in the command window i'll expand it it's asking for a, an input so enter a password let's say uh, i input five and it says try again and it's an infinite loop because there's no way this can stop so i'll stop this one so let's say um enter another break here so whatever we get we will break okay so if i do that run again i enter 10 and it says success and it breaks out of the loop so that is how we can use the break command um, that's it for now thank you for watching see you in the next one